helicopter museum. This is about a film. This was in a film? It flies in real life, yeah, and it was in a film called Black Widow, a Marvel film. There was a superhero in it. Look at this. It was in a film, was it? It's a big crack in it. Oh, I wonder if it, they did that making the film. To help it land. It says these things were actually used in the, in the movie. And it says they took it apart and transported it across the country and put it back, put it back together, together for the film in the studio. Here's the video that I'm talking about. Let me show you. Do you like the helicopter museum? Yes. I do. It's great, actually. What Royal Air Force this? One. These ones are like the red Whoa, arrows. This is a real war Royal Air Force like Ones. Look. A real war aeroplane? Not that. This. Which? What makes it a real one? Oh wow! How do you th how do you know that's a war one? Because it's got black things. It's and shoulders, shoulders Oh, straps to help you get in. Yeah, I think that's got a net. Wow, well, mummy, what are these buttons for? I'm not sure. Have a look. Press them. I'm covering my ears. It's actually really good in here. Press them, mummy. I'm covering my ears. Covering your ears? What for? Over the rotor is a hind attack helicopter. What do you think the netting was for? What do you think the netting was for? Because the hind was used to attack tanks and armies in open fields, the front is armoured and the helicopter might seem very heavy. In oh, look, fact, it's armoured. It only weighs about the same as one double decker bus. The gun in the nose has four barrels and can fire about 4,000 bullets in one minute. Each of the four rotating barrels fires a bullet in turn. Whoa. Why? The reason is because the heat from the bullets would melt one barrel if it did not have a chance to cool down between each turn. Look at them. Under each wing, you can see two rocket pods. That's the hind. Kit pods. Where's the rocket pods? He in a minute, you yeah. can count all mm -hmm. the holes and see how many rockets the hind could carry. How many rockets could it carry? I thought you were talking about that one. Wow. Count how many, Erica? Go around in twos. How many rockets could it carry? Four. Four? I can see more holes on that. No, look, it's... No, look, it's four. Oh, and that's it flying, look. Oh, that's a gun as well. Wow. I came in to see about helicopters, not military, but there's quite a lot of military things here. You forget how much they used. There was ones for haulage, um, people, fuel shortages, passengers, rescue, sea rescue, seaplanes. Telly drone. There was some, I like gyrocopters. They're the ones without the engine with two propellers on. Well, that's what, so I'm told. Yeah? Again. Propellers? Yeah. No, yeah. I mean how many? Uh, it bullets. Can, it can carry 30 bullets. <gasps> In each one? Yes. I've just counted. Blimey. Like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Whoa. It can carry 30 bullets. Wow. And we saw all the pilot controls, didn't we? And the pilots have got so many buttons on in front of them and on the ceiling. Like we saw a model, like that. A model? We did. We did see a model. Erica spotted the target, that's the RAF, Royal Air Force symbol. Yes, I did. What's this black one? This looks a special one. We've just seen one that um, broke the land speed record. This is Westland Attack Helicopter. This is really interesting. This is meant to carry 62 syrup. Syrup? Look, it says leaf syrup. Oh, it is syrup, you're right. Good spotting. It's Canadian syrup sign, maple leaf, isn't it? The maple leaf, where you get the maple syrup from. Mm -hmm. So, and it's also got an English and a British flag. So, do you think it's a, a joint project with Canada, that one? Because that's Canadian maple leaf and syrup. Good spotting, Erica. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, these are, yeah, grasshopper rotorcraft. I like these cute ones. I've seen these near the seaside and they just land on the seagrass near the beach. <laughs> they don't take a lot of fuel to take, they've got two propellers. Oh, the big rotor. This is why you often see the helicopter tipped forward when it is flying. By changing the angle... Could you fly if you tipped? Turn tip forward and fly at the same time. That's quite difficult, isn't it? Oh, we're seeing a lot of danger signs as well, which Erica found interesting. Look, there's no comfort in there at all. I wouldn't like to be a pilot. It's like being on a big fairground ride with no straps in. <laughs> Yeah, we've got all sorts. We've got wasps, oh, this one's dolphin. We've got wasp ones, dolphins, lynx, uh, puma. That's flying training school one. Oh, I can see her. Is there a US Army one, Erica? This says Army. Oh, whoa. Oh, look, we can see the US flag for our friends. Let's see if there's a... An American one. Let's have a look. Look at that. Wow. Design. And is that the pilot's uniform? Yes. For the Vietnamese War. When can we go? When can we go, Mum? Nearly. Nearly done. Are you? Nearly done. There's a lot to see in here, isn't there? A lot of our soldiers and their soldiers fought in the war, in the Vietnamese war. United States Army aircraft, Erica. 17 lads to one. Wow, that's an American one and this is an American one. What's this? What's a long tail? Look at this. Whoosh, whirlwind helicopter, this one. And this one is an expedition, Zuid Pool Exhibition, 1958. Bell, Bell 47H, one of only 33 built. Damaged in an accident before it was donated to the museum. The um, hieroglyphics on it. I've just heard the lady saying this one belongs to someone in a music video. Oh, the Beatles. Erica. Oh, this is... Yeah, this is the helicopter used by the Beatles, but this doesn't look like the one that's next to us, unless it's been repainted. Yes. Whirlwind, yeah, so this is it. This is the one that the Beatles went in. What's the Beatles? That group of singers there. Gosh, look at size of exhaust. Oh, this is another one. I, I like me, these little gyrocopters. I'm starting to get tired. I know. Oh my goodness, look at these, Erica. That's the workshop where they're painting all the things and looking after and them. Airbus helicopter, wow. Is it like a bus inside? Have a, have a look up there. Have a climb up there. Come on. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's like a bus inside. There's even toys. I'm not. It can't collapse. Carabinery. Polish open helicopter cup. What's that one say? What nerve is that? They're actually massive, it makes you wonder what how they get in the air. About the tyres, Erica, the tyres big. 
for the runway. So that's the Bristol helicopter and that's where well, we are. Of that. That looks fancy. Oh, it's a fancy one. It's got leather seats, that one. Look at that. <laughs> why is that one fancy? I don't know. That's why it's fancy. It's the Royal Navy Merlin. Merlin's following me around this week. We saw Merlinite crystals, didn't we? Merlin. Back in here now. This is the desert ones. The ones it's used in the war, way. the Lynx one, Lynx helicopters. Whoa. A rescue one. Just hope I've got enough. Really awesome, right? Echo. That's Here a we go. This is it. The one. the one up high. Good spotting. I didn't see that. Yes, I saw this it. This is the one that now. worked the world speed record, and we've talked about what made it fast, and the pointy nose makes it fast, doesn't it? Yeah. German one. What does that sign say? What is that sign? It's the maintaining it, the, the fixing it. Oh. Back in an auto gyro now. I love these little things. So you could have one of them packed on your drive, couldn't you? <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed sharing with us. Look, this says See you soon. Bye. This says